The eagles of Decora have captured the attention of nature lovers across Iowa, the country, and the world. Many people watch the eagles from afar via webcams mounted near their nest. In 2017, Friends of Iowa Public Television held the first ever Eagles of Decora viewing event. It gave fans an opportunity to view in person where the eagles call home and to learn more about these famous raptors. This is where the eagles of Decora call home. Northeast Iowa's beautiful landscape as a backdrop and roads and trails that lead public onlookers right to them. Our folks had, I think they saw it somewhere on TV. And Iowa then, Public Television. Yeah, and then uh, told us about it, so we decided to come up and check it out. We had no idea it was this, there was this much here as far yeah. as like the hatchery and all that stuff, I had no idea. They're so accessible here, you know, you've got easy visibility from the trail or from the road um, when the leaves are down in the fall and winter, you can see them from the hatchery, um, and once they start flying, they're all over the place. Only a fraction of those who often watch nature's own webcam reality show starring these eagles have actually traveled to Cora to see them with their own eyes. And it would be awesome, obviously, to see them eat a fish or catch a fish, but other than that, just to be able to see them is pretty incredible. I think seeing the babies, that's what you want to see, right? Yeah. The little ones, yeah. yeah. I'm just interested in wildlife in general, but uh, yeah, it's it's pretty neat to see them go from laying, the egg laying until you actually see the chicks. So yeah, it's another thing to come up here and actually see the nest in person. You know, God created all these creatures and uh, they're, they're so neat to, to, to watch. And, uh, you know, we watch them on camera all the time. And, uh, it's neat watching them, you know, the new ones being born. An eagle's wingspan is about six feet and across. The width of our raceways is about eight feet. At this Friends of Iowa public television picnic viewing event, visitors not only had the chance to see the eagles, but they got a chance to explore and learn more about the neighboring Decor fish hatchery. A lot of these people that came to this event are eagle people but they don't make that connection of what, why the fish hatchery is here and why the eagles are here next to a fish hatchery because they have literally that unlimited food supply. Of all the facilities I've ever worked at, and I've worked in nine different fish hatcheries in my career, this, this facility in hatcheries is the most unique because it is truly has become a destination point. In 2011 was when the Decor Eagles went viral. They also pulled back the curtain and got a special behind the scenes look at Michigan control for the Eagle Nest webcams, something the public doesn't always get to see. <laughs> they knew that you guys were coming here today. John told us a lot, we didn't know, you know, so that's kind of neat to see the behind the scenes with the cameras and the, um, the computers. Yeah, we love it. I guess it's a huge opportunity to tell the story of the recovery of these raptors from from the DDT devastating effects and how we can make a difference and how we can write some things that, that go wrong with chemical usage and, and things like that and, and learn and make a difference and, and help out. Well, I've always been interested in eagles. I just think they're a majestic bird and it was exciting to learn, you know, that they're making a comeback, that they're coming off some of the lists that they were endangered. The experts answered question after question about the eagles and educated visitors about some of the environmental and ecological issues that impact these raptors and other wildlife. Fans had already opened their hearts to the eagles of Decorah. Now their minds are open and curious too. An event like this just basically opens a lot of people up to ideas. A lot of thank yous, you know, thanks for doing what you guys are doing. So I can see there's a need for what we do and the appreciation is there for people who get to see the eagles and get into that intimate part of their lives and see the details of what happens in nature. It's just, it's something that people really want to see.